What's up, everyone? Welcome to Cooped Up episode nine. And on this week, we're talking mini trucks, mini convertibles, and the new electric mini getting more range. As usual, my name is Nick, and you can find me on uh, Instagram and YouTube as the mini vlog, where I just vlog about my life with minis. And with us as usual is Ethan. Ethan, where can we find you? Hey guys, you can find me on Instagram at Car Creations YT and YouTube at Car Creations. And we do, do all sorts of mini and BMW mods. Yeah, nice. And so uh, to start off, I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, mini truck. Not many, not many people, but people like you and myself, true, you know, diehard mini fans know that there was a truck uh, built in this from 1961 until I think 1983-ish around there. Um, and it was, it's, it's a pretty cool thing. It's, it's what you imagine, and I'll show you a picture here, everyone a picture in a minute. It's a Mini Cooper with the back half chopped off, essentially, um, and <laughs> it, you know it's it's a it's a truck, and so um, in '61 they had uh, they were making some vans, which was an elongated Mini, um, yeah. and usually for you know cargo and boxes and delivery people, and so they they stretched them. They ended up being you know a little bit longer wheelbase, and I think they ended up being about nine and a half inches longer in total. For the total uh, length that would put them at like 11 feet which uh in today's standards is pretty pretty short i think yeah i don't think there's many cars that are 11 feet still but not really <laughs> yeah um i think most cars wheelbase is longer than 11 feet but so they, they took the minivan and they uh put a essentially a truck body you know they cut off the back half of that minivan and they put in a proper fold down tailgate um, and, and made a mini truck. Um, the downside of the trucks were the trucks and the vans is uh, that, you know, they had the same 34, har 34 horsepower engine to start at least. <laughs> um, so the zero to get this is get this, the zero to 60 time was 32.3 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> half, half of a minute <laughs> to get to 60 <laughs> I bet uh, half of them didn't even get up to 60 miles an hour. <laughs> no, you probably needed a couple miles of road to, to get to that speed. Uh, so, I mean, luckily in 1963, they, they bumped that engine up to the uh, higher CC engines and they got a little bit better. But I'm sure, sure still slower because, you know, they're, they're, I think they ended up being 10% heavier than, than, the, uh, than the Cooper Coupe. So, yeah. But uh, yeah, so they built that from 1961 wow. to 1983, and they sold around 58,000, a little over 58,000 units. Um, That's and a let lot. Me, yeah, let me share a picture. I know there's one in the U.S. out west. I'm sure there's more than one, but there, you know, there's there's a few here in the U.S. But uh, yeah, let me get to a picture. Uh, well, everybody, and not just you. So here is a, a really nice, nice looking one. Wow. Um, and yeah, just, it's just a mini, uh, you know, with, with the back chopped off essentially. And I, <laughs> I would love to have one of those, you know, just put my, you know, bike in there, my, carry my bikes around in there. That'd be so cool. But yeah. Slow, uh, but fun. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's not winning any races anytime soon. Um, I don't think there was a John Cooper works version of this, uh, but yeah, it's, it's a cool little, looking thing oh, I feel so good yeah if you ever see one in person i'm sure it draws a crowd uh, so yeah that's uh that was the classic mini uh truck um and then mini toyed with one by making a uh a a concept car off of the mini paceman and right. i thought about yeah. it's like why why did they why did they use the paceman um it's because the clubman and the countryman have four doors. And so you'd either have to weld those doors shut or have a really short bed. So instead they just use the pacement, which is, you know, the two door, all four, uh, you know, all wheel drive vehicle. And uh, that never ended up making it to production, but it was, it was a really cool one-off. Uh, it was pretty neat looking. Um, I do like how they blacked out all the chrome on it too. It, I think it really goes cool with this. With this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
but yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> really small little bed in the back, but probably the same size mm. as the classic truck minis bed, if I had to guess. Yeah. And That'd actually be quite fun. Yeah. When that, I, was, I was thinking about that. I was like, oh man, if there's a basement for cheap, that'd be a fun yeah. project to build. <laughs> but, yeah. And uh, I, I was talking to my buddy about, you know, about this truck and, and whatnot. And he reminded me that there was, there was also the Red Bull minis, which were almost right. like a yep. truck, um, yep. which I totally, totally forgot about. But yeah, so there was actually a, you know, first gen modern mini R53 truck uh, with the Red Bulls, which you can still, you, you can buy. I've seen a couple of those come across Craigslist. Uh, there's one yep. like 40 miles from me uh, that was for sale. And I drove by it like so many times and I don't know why I didn't, I didn't ever buy it. That would have been so cool, but. Yeah, yes. I remember I saw one in Brantford, Ontario, just on the road, and I couldn't believe my eyes. I was like, what on earth is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quite cool. Was it still in service? Was it still a active Red Bull truck, or had it take, had the big can taken off the back? Um, I think they took, I think it was, they had taken off the can, and they actually had turned it into a complete pickup truck uh, with nice. an actual bed and everything, so. Yeah. I, I, I'd seen them with the cans um, and they just looked weird because the can was huge and it stuck up over yeah. here. I'll, I'll show a picture for those who haven't seen it. So yeah, there was the Red Bull minis, um, drove around with a giant can on them. And in the bed area, they had uh, coolers uh, full of ice and Red Bulls that they would just hand out um, at events. And oh, wow. like so yeah, huh. I've never had a Red Bull, but um, I would take one if I had <laughs> was given one from this from this mini, but yeah, likewise. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's just a, a quick little story about, you know, the, the truck mini truck, which was an actual product from 1961 to 83. Um, and they, they look really cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. So speaking of that, let's talk about, uh, some stuff in the news. What do we have to discuss in the news today? So uh, the first news thing I want to look at was uh, just out. Apparently, this source leaked a whole bunch of stuff. And um, first one being that there will be an electric mini convertible mm. when the new G, G series comes out in 2024 to 25, depending where you are in the world. Um, it's kind of cool because apparently, um, well, I don't know if it's cool or not, but it, its platform will be basically an evolution of the current platform. Um, so I don't know if that means it's going to be faster or anything like that, but at least they'll be using the same, um, same style of batteries and all that kind of stuff where they put it where the gas tank and drivetrain is normally on the petrol models. Yeah, no, I, I, that's pretty cool. A lot of people thought it was going to, uh, be retired forever, but it's, it's back. I, I, I guess it's a, a, a pretty good seller in terms of. Yeah, I think we talked about this with uh, Ashan a couple of episodes ago, where it's it's actually the most sold convertible out there. Yeah, um, apparently that article is saying that one five mini sold in Germany was convertible. Wow. Okay. So that's kind of insane because yeah, I know that isn't true here in Canada, right? But that's just probably because it's cold. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's cold in Germany too. They have a winter. That's, but that's true, impressive. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm excited to see what that's going to look like. I wonder if we'll get to see that at the same time as the launch of the G series or will, you know, because it's coming out yeah. in 2025, but will they show it to us when they show us the other ones, which are, we should see as soon as later this year, potentially, but maybe next yeah. year. Hopefully. But, um, I just did a little research and apparently the only other electric um, drop top is a Fiat 500E. Okay. So. Currently, it's the it'd be uh, one or two in the world. That's, nice uh, electric. That's kind of cool. Um, and then also, that same source um, said that we'd probably see an electric GP coming out in late 2022. Yeah, I saw that. I need more time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to I need to save up so I can get another GP. Um, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty exciting. Um, I don't wonder what the chances would be that you could get two GP number one. <laughs> I'm zero. I'm sure. I'm sure it's zero, but I still try to get 
a number of GP electric, yeah. but yeah, I mean, I think, I think it's probably going to use a lot of the things that the pace center has maybe, yeah. you know, borrow, borrow, did I say that right? Pace center. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. Borrow some of the styling cues that, that new wing so. you know, or something like that. So yeah. Looks amazing. Yeah. So that's good news. The convertible's back, which, you know, can kind of act like a truck, I guess, if, you know, it's got a, it's got no top, so you can carry tall objects in it, but. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and then next set of news is uh, the new mini JCW team, um, or not the new mini JCW team, the mini JCW team um, debuted a touring car for the Circuit of Americas, which is visually inspired by the GB3. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like they added the front grille um the rear diffuser and then the paint colors and stuff i'm not 100 percent sure if it's an actual gp or even if it's a facelifted f series but they yeah. definitely tried to make it look like what the gp looks like yeah i when i was looking at this one thing i noticed that i thought was interesting was the uh side scuttle doesn't have a hole yep. for the indicator and i was like i didn't i did not know you could buy a blanked out side scuttle uh, with no hole yeah. maybe maybe they got that from mini maybe they got that from some third party I, but I, I i hadn't seen that before it's that's something i'd never seen um, so, i do i do wish they had the the gp wing on the back because i'm not crazy about I i'm sure this is better for the race in aerodynamics but yeah i wish it had that other way yeah if you if you look at the rest of the cars that they race um they're basically um cooper s's with the jcw body kit Mm -hmm. So I wonder if they kind of get the body from Mini and then they do all their own modifications and engine stuff themselves. Mm -hmm. So something yeah. to look into. Yeah. No, it looks looks cool. It looks sharp. It looks just like a GP. So Yeah, I love it. I didn't get um, to catch the race. I don't know if it actually how it did in the race, because that was last week, this weekend, last it? weekend. I think it was. Okay. I'll have to check. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. <laughs> and then lastly, we have uh, electric mini getting a slightly better ra range. So I believe it went from 100, 107 miles to 111. Yeah, it was a very small bump, oh, but it, yeah, it did, it did go up. I did see that as well. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing I want to say about that was I wondered if the only difference technically is supposed to be the uh, the front grill. So I wonder right. if the new grill that they made is actually a lot more aerodynamic compared yeah. to one that we have there. So I was thinking the same cool. thing, just just less less drag, I suppose, off the front to to eke out four yeah. more three point six percent more than before. So combined one hundred and fourteen. Yeah, that's insane actually if you think about it. Yeah. So if they just got rid of the super tall antenna and put the short stubby one, I bet you they could eke out another mile or two. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Even getting rid of a front license plate in some places. Oh <laughs> my gosh. I, <laughs> I would love there for there to be a study and I'm sure I'm, Tesla probably knows because they're, they're all about their drag coefficient, keeping that low. The, the license, front yeah. license plate has to make a little bit of a difference. So I would love for that to, become a law for environmental reasons that we don't have to have front license plates. That would, that would be a yeah. dream. Well, no in more? Canada, I think Ontario just got rid of it and Did they? Alberta doesn't have them. So slowly. Yeah. No more dr drilling holes in the front of the car too. Gosh, that's just sad. Yeah. Yep. My, my countryman has two holes. I just don't know what to do with them. <laughs> New bumper. Yes. That's a good video, new, new bumper. Yeah. I thought about that, um, but then I figured the paint wouldn't match because you know that bumper would have fresh paint and the car is 10 years old. So it'd be a little, you know, a little difference with the faded paint, but. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's the news. Um, we're gonna take a moment to hear from our, from our sponsor. This week's sponsor is sponsored by High Beams. Are you having trouble seeing while you're driving at night? On the left-hand side of your steering wheel, there's light stock, which you can pull towards you to turn on your high beams and see more of the road. High beams have been helping us see more of the road since, I don't know, before I was born. So they've been around a while. To, to learn more about high beams, flick that little stock on the left of your steering wheel. 
Okay, social picks. You want to go first? Sure. I liked I liked your pick. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> yeah, I was excited about this one. I had a uh, clubman. My first mini was a clubman, so an old clubman always gets. Mm. Yeah, I always really appreciate one, and I love how they. It's probably wrap, but just the whole everything green and blacked out just just amazing just love it just the green roof matching the body and the and the roof box yeah. just looks so cool it looks like it's a nice sharp color green too it's like money green yeah 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 but he he did a good job there and he has looked like some carbon fiber wrap on the yeah uh, those rear pillars and back and stuff so. yeah it's obviously slammed down pretty low it's lowered quite a bit <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's new exhaust. Sweet looking clubman. Nice. And for my social pick, I went with uh, this this shot that I found on Reddit. Um, a really good roller shot. Those are I've tried so many times to get <clears throat> to get good roller shots. <laughs> they are not easy, at least for me. Um, oh yeah. And, but this is a this is just such a good one. The cars look super clean. The uh, little bit of lens flare coming off of the from the sun is just really cool. Sharp looking cars yep. too, man. It just looks awesome. They got a good stretch of road. Nobody around them. How, it's like <laughs> golden hour. Nobody around them. How do you do that? Yeah, <laughs> that's the lottery, dude. But yeah, yeah. I love the uh, hood hood scoops on there. The yeah, to market hood yeah. scoops when they yeah. do something. Yep functional scoops yeah 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 these cars are i mean they look pretty similar i mean there's obviously a lot of differences but they're pretty close in in looks i like them a lot nice dark yeah no chrome uh there's a chrome door handle but otherwise <laughs> almost there grill. yeah <laughs> cool shop so that's going to be it for this week's episode a real quick one going over the news going over the trucks going over the convertibles um ethan where can we find you and what do you have coming up on your channel this week give us something good all right so on my channel car creations on youtube this week we have a new app that i found in the app store where basically it helps you find various fun roads in your area and it's uh basically open to any any driver to download and share roads and create routes so pretty cool nice user aggregated data for fun driving roads that sounds really cool i'm looking forward yeah. to that i'm gonna download that after i watch your video and you can find me on instagram and youtube as the mini vlog and uh this week's video is going to be another coding video i haven't figured out which one i'm going to do yet uh because i need to go try them both out to see uh, the GP doesn't always have all the same features as all the other F56 cars, so I need to try them both first to see. So I don't really know which one it's going to be, so you'll just have to tune in and see <laughs> which Beamer code uh, setting I changed this week. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where you can find us cool. and what we got coming up. Um, but that's so tough to read sometimes with everything being in German, so, or yeah. not, not even real German, it's just like slang car German. But, yeah, code. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>